Hi, I'm Grant Banbury and I'm here at the Agintar Art Gallery in their storage facility. And today I'm going to talk about this particular painting here by a Christchurch based artist, Tony De La Tour. Tony was born in Melbourne in 1965 and came to New Zealand at the age of three. He's today considered a very important contemporary New Zealand painter and has exhibited widely throughout the country. He graduated in 1988 from the University of Canterbury School of Fine Arts at a time when um, <clears throat> a number of important other contemporary artists were, were training. Alongside him, people like Seraphine Pick and Shane Cotton and Peter Robinson. Interestingly, rather than studying painting at this point, he studied sculpture. His initial work dealt with imagery to do with tattooing, to do with uh, comic imagery, and to do with various designs and symbols for clothing and commercial products such as shoes. In this work here, which is dated 2012, things have changed a lot. We've got a colour field background, and I think the title, Stack, um, perhaps gives a slight descriptive aspect or nature to the way we may view this work. In many ways, it doesn't seem to have to be talking about physical depth, but what we do have here is a whole series of floating forms, some touching each other and some independent, some of them feel rather organic and others feel very sort of rigid and structured. So with abstraction, I think one of the entry points is to look at the colour relationship and to simply look at those forms and allow your mind to think, how does this feel for me? Um, what are these works about? There is a sense in this particular painting that the physical activity of applying paint to a canvas that is in a vertical position um, and just the particular uh, condition of that paint, allowing it here to dribble. We'll note in this area here, there are two um, areas of spray paint and the artist in the rigid areas is using masking tape, I think, to construct those forms. All of us perhaps have a relationship to colour. Do we like the colour? How do we respond to it? Um, is it something that we enjoy? How does it make us feel? And there's a slight sort of popish feel here with this work. Notice how the blue and pink bounce off each other. The black gives the work a bit of solidity and sort of structure, and yet in a way it feels exploratory and free-forming. This particular artist works in series and works on smaller scale and sometimes larger scale. And there's a real sense of play and fun. I know that these works came after the earthquakes and Tony De La Tour left behind some of his much more figurative and perhaps darker images to move to something that feels very different. Uh, this is one of two works in the collection and uh, it's really great that this particular artist is represented here in South Canterbury. Thank you very much.